Hey guys, uh, good work and dryer. Let's go through it. So this just came out of the estate. Uh, what can I tell you? The washer didn't work, but the dryer works fine. I don't have a 220 plug here, but this is your opportunity to get a dryer. For not a lot of money. A lot of people say, oh, how old is it? Da -da -da -da. You know what? It's a cheap working dryer for the low amount of money I'm charging. Makes sense to me. 27 inches wide, and it's also 26, 27, I think about 26 and a half deep. Um, all your standard dryer controls, you know, air dry, all you can fluff it, time it. You know, it's got a, a drying sensor. You know, your permanent presses, your nits, your regular, your delicates. And of course, it'll also signal you, send you a little alarm when it's done. Okay, so. Super clean tub, all the fins are present, and uh, it's a good dryer. What can I say? So, I'm expecting someone right now, they walk downstairs, or they took the lid down to check the clothes, and they're not dry, because your dryer just broke. And then you're thinking, oh God, if I called the, the fix-it guy, that'll be at least 200 bucks. You can buy a nice used dryer, five of these, for the price of one delivery visit, or one repair visit, you know what I'm saying. Anyway guys, I can help you deliver if you need to. I'll put the delivery cost in the ad. But it's going to sell quick because those who are smart realize that even the newest dryer uses the same amount of hydro. It's all the same technology. It's an element. It's heated up by hydro. There's a fan. Done. It's not like some of the high efficiency fridges which have undersized compressors and uh, or washers which have undersized motors which just basically mean they don't last as long. But that's an argument for another day. Nice good working dryer. And it is a uh, Kenmore heavy duty, so you can put a big load in it. And uh, you know, if you got a family, what can I tell you? Take some pictures, study them, and some texting on a phone call, and well.